Hi, my name is Jennifer Hancock. I'm the founder of Humanist Learning Systems and the author of several books about humanism, including the humanist approach to happiness. Now, one of the, we'll call it existential issues that uh, people come to me with is how do, I, how do I find meaning and purpose in life, right? Do I matter? And we humans have an intense need to matter. We need to matter to people. And we want to feel special. We want to feel like our lives have meaning. And that's tied to the concept of mattering. So let's talk about the search for happiness, how it relates to mattering and finding meaning and purpose in your life. Now, one of the things I teach as part of um, my humanist philo philosophic courses that I do and the books I have is that while happiness is a goal of humanists, we don't actually, we don't actually work to find happiness. That's not actually our goal. <clears throat> our goal is actually to live life fully, whatever that means to you. All right. So I don't actually have, I, I wrote a book called The Humanist Approach to Happiness, but my goal interestingly enough is I tell people don't seek happiness <laughs> seek to live life fully seek to thrive all right um, and that means that what what this does for me is that if things go wrong I don't feel like I fail there's this there's this idea that psychologists are now talking about about wellness syndrome and if you're not doing well, then you are failing. And then th that idea that you're failing causes all sorts of mental health issues in terms of depression and anxiety and things like that. I don't have happiness as a goal. So when I'm not happy, I don't feel like I failed. I'm living life fully. And that means I'm hoping for the good. I'm hoping to avoid the bad, but the bad is going to happen as part of life. And I don't fight it. I work my way through it to get to the other side. I don't stop fighting to get to the other side of that, but I don't feel like I failed in my primary goal if I am not happy 100% of the time, all right? Because that's an unrealistic goal. To be happy all the time is completely and totally unrealistic. So don't have that as a goal. Instead, choose to live life fully, whatever that means. And that means sometimes good, sometimes bad. Now, well, what do you do with your time? How do you get to that point where you're living life fully? What does that mean? Well, it, for me, it means I'm going to live life fully. I'm going to love other people, and I'm going to try to leave the world a better place. Now, that try to leave a better place, leave the world a better place part is where the mattering comes in. It's where the meaning and purpose of your life is going to come in. The best way to matter is to do something that matters to someone else. Right? A lot of times we get so focused on ourselves, do I matter, do I matter, do I matter? We don't realize that by focusing inward, we're not interacting with other people. We're not doing things that can help other people. So instead of focusing on yourself, focus on other people. What can you do to help other people? This is not to the exclusion of taking care of yourself. Um, you know, you have to do self-care. But... I do self-care so that I can be engaged in the world. I take care of my body so that I can go out and do things. Because if I can't, I can't do the things I want to do to make the world a better place. Taking care of myself is in service to making the world a better place. I have to do both. I can't neglect one or the other. Because if I neglect myself, I can't make the world a better place. All right. So this is not about losing yourself. This is about focusing your energy in a healthy way externally so that you have a focus and a purpose in life that matters because if your purpose is to make yourself happy a you're gonna fail and b you're gonna be selfish but if your focus is to make the world a better place however whatever you can do in your little corner of the world to do that you're going to feel very, very satisfied in life. It won't matter the struggles. Well, they matter, but they're not going to matter as much because you're in service to helping other people, and that, ma that really matters. That really matters. And I don't know of any other substitute for that. I don't know how anybody else comes up with ways to matter if they don't do this. And every religion, every philosophy ever devised that's been successful has the same approach. Everybody preaches compassion for a reason. 
thinking about other people, not to the exclusion of yourself, but thinking about how you can help other people gives meaning and purpose to your life. And doing something to help them matters. And by doing it, you matter, right? So if you want to learn more about this, I recommend you go to my website, humanistlearning.com. Uh, the course that I have, it's a six hour course that kind of takes you through all of this. Um, what is the humanist approach to happiness? How do we approach ethics? How do we approach critical thinking and decision making and why? How do we approach goal setting? All of that is in my course, Living Made Simpler. Um, and it's available um, online through my website, humanistlearning.com. I hope I'll see you online.